Todd's his bookie Paddy Power offering on John Terry and Wayne Bridge shaking hands before tomorrow's Chelsea Man City clash. The answer is six to one. Thank you so much. Uh, you're watching the last right stuff of the week with Mel Gidroach, Sanji Basca, and our special guest Noreen Palo. She's going to have the rest of today's headlines for you in a little under ten minutes. Uh, just before I move on, uh, an urgent email. It's coming. I haven't got both contact lenses in, so I'm struggling. Heather Jarvis. Uh, I heard Mel mentioning the Bergerac tour, but I can go one better. Oh. Around 15 years ago, yes. I stayed in a hotel at the same time as John Nettles. My aunt was head housekeeper there at the time and took me to see his suite while he was at the theatre. I can claim to have seen John Nettles' underpants on his hotel room floor. <laughs> well, that's just admitting to something slightly illegal. <laughs> that's, right. yeah, that's really... Cos it started out well. I was seeing John Nettles, <laughs> cornflower blue eyes, yes. head in the wind, and then suddenly I thought of his skin marked under the yes. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, but Heather. were they his skid marks? Oh, oh my God. I believe it's a mystery. <laughs> what we need is a girl with a balloon. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, the the now, yeah. enough already. We need to uh, get reaction uh, to Wayne Bridge's decision to rule himself out of uh, England's World Cup squad. I'm sure our Scottish viewers are mustard keen on getting involved in this one. I'd love to know what you think. Email Kirsty with your views right now. Right stuff at 5.tv is the address. A Bridges' shock decision comes just weeks after the tabloids told how former England captain John Terry had been sleeping with Bridges' ex-girlfriend, the mother of his four-year-old son. Terry, who was subsequently stripped of the England captaincy, tried to gag the press so when no one would know of his shameful behaviour. But the truth came out, and Bridge is still furious because, amongst other things, Terry has never apologised for what he sees as a betrayal. They were on a break! Uh, Bridge, now at Man City, believes playing alongside Terry in the England squad would lead to divisions and distractions, which may well be true. But are those good enough reasons not to do right by your country? Isn't that a higher goal, pun intended, than fretting about media sniping or Mickey taking from the terraces? Is he acting like a wimp or a man of principle? Or perhaps you think his decision smacks of a petulant prima donna? After all, as I say again, they were on a break. I'm going to start with you, Mel, because um, I bullied you yesterday and I'm carry on today. Come on. You know, you talk about distractions and divisions. Maybe, just maybe, if he'd stayed, the kind of competitive edge between them would have sparked off and, and, and affected the team, and maybe that, that would have been good for the team. I don't know anything about football. You can see that I'm rambling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think maybe if there was a competitive edge between them and there was a bit of spark, that would just give them... Can you a... imagine? Can you imagine soldiers being called to war, saying, I'm not going to fight with that guy there because he yeah. once went out with uh, the mother of my child? It just wouldn't do it, would he's you? A, but so... he's obviously a very yeah. private guy, Bridge, you know, and he's been kind of dragged into a maelstrom, hasn't he? A massive maelstrom. Particularly where football and World Cups. Do you think? Do you think he's being a man? You sound like you think he's a man of principle here. Yeah, then. I think he's a private man who just feels he can't be in the same dressing room as John Terry. What about the nation? The notion of you know, notion queen of and nation. country. Yeah, the notion of nation. Notion of nation. I, I, I feel for him. I, I, I'm on his side. I feel for him. Sanji. Yeah, not just maelstrom, femalestrom as well. <laughs> just, uh, just, uh, <laughs> keep oh, things, oh, keep oh, things oh, even. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm with him, to be quite honest. I think that, you know, I, uh, I hear your uh, analogy with war, but this isn't a war, it is football. And uh, he has been dragged into it. And also, um, it's they kind of... on a break. Yeah, but, you know, it's still, you know, there's still those principles of friendship and comradeship and well, the rest do of these, it. But... Well, this is when it gets really fascinating, isn't it? Because once a couple have split up, the only, the only element that I think that Wayne would, could feel rightfully miffed about it, well, two elements, is that John Terry was his mate mm. and uh, that whatever her name is, was the mother of his child. And therefore, you know, it's not the most... Yeah, but also beyond that, it's, it's about character, isn't it? And, and John Terry was... Uh, he did that, but also, you know, he had kids, he had a wife. Yeah. You know, there, there's, there's a character issue here. But also, I think what's really... So, you, are you saying or suggesting there that perhaps uh, what Capella should do is drop... John Terry, and that way, the way would be clear no, for Wayne Bridge, because jo John Terry is the architect of all of this. He is, yeah, but I think John Terry is the better player. Ah, oh, so all you of know, a sudden, morals but... and honour and all that go out the window. No, no, it's not about... Well, it's not... But No, he was stripped of the captaincy, and I think that's quite rightly so, but, I mean, you know, his abilities as a footballer is something else. Wayne Bridge has taken a personal decision. What I find very, very interesting is that Wayne Bridge is basically, you know, back up to... Ashley Cole. Yeah. Ashley Cole. Another, another kind fine, of outstanding oh. guardian That's, of the that country's one, I think is really, So Wayne Bridge is caught between two guys. <laughs> what a team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's gone between two guys who've been philandering. You know, he's been drawn into it because of that. The tragedy, and I'm much more interested in cricket than football, so I've declared my interest there. But the tragedy is that for about the last year, all my football addict friends say, we've really got a chance at the World Cup. We really have this year. And it's now sort of falling away with just a few weeks to go. Where do you think... Uh, do you think he's behaved like a man of principle? Yeah, he's you the do. only one, and I think... I think the sad truth of the England football team is that if we were to pick our team based on men of principle, we wouldn't have a team. Mm. <laughs> because they're all a bunch of... And I'm a massive football fan, and I do think John Terry shouldn't be in the squad. Do you? Yes. He's a horrid little man. Yeah. Yeah. He really is. <laughs> he's horrible. He's... You know, he takes... He allegedly takes bungs. His... His mother is allegedly a shoplifter, has been cautioned by the police. Yeah. His dad is allegedly a drug dealer. He's happy to have it away with his best mate. There's mates. all and I do have to stress... Uh, I because, said allegedly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know. You're being very good, but that's not to say that my hands aren't sweating the and the buttocks are clenching. Just so we're clear, but, you're doing absolutely yeah. fine so far. But I think kids, you know, I'm a massive football fan. I come from a family where a lot of young kids are football fans. My nephew, for example, looks up to the England team. And when I was a kid, I looked up to players like Bobby Moore, Kevin Keegan. These were men yeah. who played amazing football, kept their private lives. Maybe they weren't squeaky clean, but they were gentlemen. Yeah. And I think we need to fly the flag for Britain and we need to put ourselves back on the map as not being football hooligans, as being decent people. And I actually think Wayne Bridge should be applauded for what he's done. And I think John Terry should just take a running hike. Well, That's what right. I think. <laughs> <laughs> You've taught me round. <laughs> You've taught me round. Only because I was I was in a pub. I got locked myself out of the house yesterday, so I spent two hours of my. <laughs> it's a long so story. Love yeah, yeah. So, I, I, yeah, I, so yeah, we had a long chat, a long, long, long chat about football, and uh, everybody said about San took Sanji's view that John Terry is the better player, and that means that he should stay in the team. But your argument totally convincing. Thank you. Well, Thank you. It's a, it's a, maybe it's an emotional argument, but I think it is something to bear in mind, really. Yeah. OK, well, don't forget, uh, we'd love to know your thoughts. Email us them. Writestuff at 5.tv is the address. There's certainly food for thought there, isn't there? Uh, Wayne Bridge, uh, hero or villain, man of principle or wimp, what are people saying, Kirsty? OK, uh, the first email is, I think it's pronounced Alanre, um, and they write, I keep on hearing Wayne Bridge's ex-partner. If the two of them are not together, then what is Wayne's issue? They were issue? on a break. He doesn't own her, does he? Does he have to prove anyone she goes out with? The real issue... Yeah, 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 but come on, but he did, John, he did sleep with the mother of his child. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, he, they just put the real best issue... Best mate, you know, best mate Terry sleeps with the mother of your child. Mm -hmm. OK. Uh, the next one from Raymond. Um, in this whole sordid mess, Wayne appears to be the only gentleman involved. A breath of fresh air in the manure heap of football. Glad to see principal returning, all it be too late. And then, um, finally, one from Gary. <clears throat> I can't believe this sanctimonious claptrap that's going around. It was his ex-girlfriend. Mother I... of his child. Best friend. The best best friend, mother I of child. I think is doing it to curry favour. If we live in such a morally guided world, what about the fact that he didn't stand by the mother of his boy? <sighs> oh. I don't really get that. Right, so. No, okay, me neither. Now, um, the Right Stuff lawyers uh, say I should tell you this, and that is that what Narina said earlier about John Terry, the man, as opposed to his family, has been strongly denied by Chelsea and is wholly unsubstantiated. <laughs> so don't sue, it's just a bit of fun. <laughs> You're right with that, Narina? Yeah. Fine. Right. Now, 